By the 1870s, Sutter Creek, California was a gritty industrial mining center. Seven stamp mills operated 24 hours a day. There were a couple of brickyards, a brewery, and countless boarding houses, brothels, and saloons. And here on Eureka Street was the Knight Foundry, which pioneered some of the most innovative mining technology in the West. Founded in 1873 by Samuel Knight, a brilliant inventor and engineer, the foundry manufactured machinery and parts that helped power the gold mines of the California Motherlode region. The Knight Foundry is believed to be the oldest continually operating water-powered foundry in the United States. Andy, it's 130 years ago, Knight Works is in full swing. Paint me a picture of what it's like. Well, it's a bustling shop. There's somebody standing at every one of these big machines doing work. There's uh, probably 20 machinists in here. The people that worked on these machines, many of them were trained by night. There'd be kids hanging out at the door of the foundry every day. These right. are original machines, these by are the, the way? These are machines. This place was fitted out by about 1882. It was pretty much as you see it today. Looks like about 125 pounds of water pressure in this pipe. Where does the water come from? It comes from 45 miles back in the mountains by a, a canal system of flumes and ditches. Comes to the edge of the valley here and then drops in a pipe almost 500 feet down, and that gravity pressure in the pipe gives us all this pressure. The pressure comes in here through a valve, in through a jet, small jet really, into this. The water comes out of here about 110 miles an hour. So it's like a big squirt gun coming in there. This was Samuel Knight's signature invention, the water-powered impulse turbine, or the Knight wheel. The wheel starts turning, it's going by at about 50, and when the water hits the bucket, it does a U-turn, and right then drops down at zero. It gives all of its energy to the wheel, almost all of it. This so was I, Knight's genius. Yes, this is the most efficient machine ever invented. Uh, you figure a steam engine that they were using then would get about 6% of the energy out of the wood it used. Or an automobile only gets 12, 15% of its energy out of the gasoline. This wheel from the get-go got 70%, and today they make 92%. This is how we create our hydroelectricity in California, wow. is a wheel like this. And, and this it, one wheel runs most of the shock. That's right. That and it incredible. was invented by Samuel Knight. Can and we it, crank it up? Oh, sure. But if we do, uh, we would be very wet. So let's, <laughs> let's put the hood down. <laughs> OK. Turn the valve slowly. You can hear the water coming comes. through the pipe. Keep going. It sounds like a jet engine taking yeah, off, Yeah, keep it? going. OK, more. Here we go. Wheel's beginning to turn. Wow, look at that. The main belt the power system, running all of the machines in the machine shop. That is amazing! Most of the equipment at the Knight Foundry was made of cast iron. The iron casting process for all tools, large and small, such as this gear used in a drill press, always began by fashioning a wooden model in the pattern shop. The wooden pattern would then be placed in a box and packed in a special mixture of sand used for casting. The pattern was then carefully removed leaving its impression. Molten iron was poured in, and the piece took shape. After the iron cooled, the piece was transferred to a large lathe, where holes were milled to precise specifications. Well, here's one of our real treasures. This is the oldest working machine tool in the United States. Uh, Knight bought this used. It came around Cape Horn in a clipper ship during the gold rush, and uh, it's an 1850 New Haven lathe. This type of bed lathe was used in the manufacture of almost every kind of machine operating in gold mines and stamp mills. Here the center hole in the drill press gear is being fine-tuned, as it was done more than a century ago. Well, there's your bevel gear, Steve, finished and ready to go to work. That is cool, Joe. Thank you. Andy, it's amazing to think that this is just one of thousands of individual custom parts yep. that the Knight Foundry produced and whole machines from the smallest pump to the most massive mine hoist, all created in this wizard's workshop of Samuel Knight. It's an amazing piece of history. Thanks for saving it for us. Our pleasure.